Hey guys, this is Cam315. I am back at it with another video for you guys. And I am back with another My Hero Academia manga chapter review for you guys. Obviously, the manga chapter, if you look at the leaks, they've already come out. So unofficial translations have come out and I'm here to talk about them. And a pretty interesting chapter we get here, um, which we finally, and I mean, finally see the faces of the second and the third users of one for all as well as we get the name drop of the first user's name so now we can start calling him not the first user well we can still call him that but we can call him by his his, uh, his names so yeah anyways this chapter starts off on a rainy night and lo and behold we see these i'm guessing civilians who are acting as vigilantes are attacking this woman who they think is, who's a monster but it's like a fox woman she's very tall and stuff like that and essentially the lady the lady's like please stop you know i'm not a monster i was just scared and stuff like that um and these i, I I don't know what you call them. I'm gonna call them civilians, vigilantes. They're using these support items and they're trying to attack this person, uh, this this fox lady. And obviously it's getting to the point where she could get hurt like that. Obviously this is the thing that tricked Deku off and made his danger sense go off from the last chapter. Deku comes in, fast as all get up. He blocks the attack and essentially tells the people like, look, calm down. It's a rainy night and tensions are high and stuff like this. But look, I understand. This person is not your enemy. Go home, do something and stuff like that and get to shelter, essentially. And essentially, the people leave by saying, ha, huh, if she was innocent, she should stop acting so suspicious then. Then we have Deku um, talk to her a bit. And essentially, we find out this fox lady it was going to evacuate to this shelter um, and she goes on to say that the town she was in was one of the safer places when this all started so I thought I could just stay at home and stuff like that but obviously with things as the day is progressing getting much more hectic much more dangerous essentially you know this lady is essentially saying like the streets are legit dangerous you can't like right now the current state in my hero academia in the public you can't go anywhere without running into danger. You can't go anywhere and stuff like that. And she goes she goes on to say that I was planning on trying to make a run for it, um, you know, to one of the schools that has, I guess, a shelter in place so I can live there till this all gets cleaned up and everything. Um, and then that's when I got jumped. She apologizes to Deku, but I don't understand why she would apologize. You get this pretty crazy shot to show again how big this fox lady is compared to Deku. Like Deku is like this small and they have a wonderful panel where he's giving her an umbrella. He's small compared to her being so big. And I'm like, good God, and stuff like that. Um, Deku replies by saying, look, I understand. Everyone is just as scared as you are and stuff like that. And eventually the fox lady asks, like, do you think things will ever return to normal? And obviously Deku's like, Yes, they will. At one day, one day they will come back, go back to normal and stuff like that. Deku's about to leave. Then all of a sudden we see All Might come in the All Might mobile. And essentially he asks Deku, is he um, unharmed? Essentially um, Deku's like, All Might, take the Fox Lady to a shelter, to the, to the evacuate, evac evacuation shelter because he can't stay there and she can't stay there and stuff like that. Then that's when All Might's like, wait a second, here, have this. And essentially it's pork. He gives him food to eat and stuff like that. And I like the fact that Deku gives a nice smile through his mask, um, well, from the eye, you know, expressions. Again, showing that yes, this Deku is much more mature. This Deku is much more different, you know, obviously, but he still has the same Deku within him where he's a pretty joyous character and if he needs to be joyful out of certain situation there he goes and stuff like that all might tells him make sure you eat your food before it gets cold and stuff like that so obviously 
All Might still being Dad Might, um, obviously watching over him and stuff like that. Eventually, we have Deku essentially observing the rainy night sk skyline and stuff like that. Um, and essentially, he's talking to, obviously, um, Bonjo, which we all know is the fifth user um, of One For All. He's talking to him. Um, Bonjo says the day, um, because they bring up the fact like it's like society's backing up right now. He goes on to say the days where we didn't have any room to breathe from all the constant vigilante profiling going on. It's just like you entered a time machine. Essentially, he's saying like, shit. He is like shit, Deku. What we're seeing here, what you're seeing, is essentially what it used to be back in the day for us. Just hecticness on the street, people doing whatever they want. Essentially, free world, and people were freely getting hurt for it, and they want to do nothing and stuff like that. Um, they go on to mention Sugar Rocky, All for One, Dobby, Nomu, the League of Villains. Um, they bring on the fact that their Deku tells them like we still don't have any clues. All the escapees were cut loose and went off to wreck havoc, so we don't know anything and stuff like that. And obviously, Bonjo's like, it seems like we're in the dark and everything. Um, Deku goes on to say, with Sugar Rocky, with All for One's quirk, I doubt even Endeavor and Aizawa working together could put a stop to him. Well, technically, you were firsthand watching that, Deku. So, of course, you're gonna be the only one to defeat him. Or that has to defeat him. Deku goes on to say, if One For All can't put a stop um, to all of this at once, nothing will improve. Essentially, we all know he's saying, look, if I can't do this, things aren't gonna change and it's gonna get much worse and stuff like that. Then we finally cut back to the Vestige world before Deku woke up from his sleep. This was back, I believe in chapter 305, 304, around that range at the end of the chapter. Um, I forgot what an accurate chapter like right accurate chapter it was but um it was around that time chapter when we wondered when officer the first year was like okay you guys now need to uh show him your power and stuff like that to deku now we see the first user talking um to the second and third users and stuff like that they go on to say to consolidate um our power or he goes on to say to consolidate our power and information to him we need to work together please my heroes and stuff like that um and essentially um they're kind of looking in the back of what's going on with deku and the other users which again is pretty freaking interesting how deku's interacting with the other users um i think it's awesome and stuff like that now the third user goes in to say we came from the harshest era of history when all for one was at his peak we was all we he and he was ready to dominate the entire world back then those who were dominated couldn't even tell that they were dominated. And the leader was scared of that future. And in the scene, we see the third user's face finally. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, he looks nothing, and I mean nothing like Kirishima. So, and two, we don't even have, we don't get the second and third user's names still. But when we see their faces, you can clearly see they have no resemblance are no look to Kirishima. Now, again, if that's like, I feel like if they're gonna relate this to me, if they're gonna relate the second and third users to Kirishima and Bakugo, I feel like it would be better if it's just a great, you know, ancestor of theirs. And they're the great descendants and stuff like that, which again, I feel like would make more sense. Then they cut over to the second user. We see his face again. He, his hair looks like Bakugo, but the thing is, across his face, he's got a pretty nasty scar. Um, so again, like I said, the thing is, they could be related to Bakugo and Kirishima in the, as in the aspect of them being their ancestors and stuff like that. Anyways, the third user goes on to say, um, back then, um, I already said that. Um, he goes on to say, to prevent him from taking full control, it took us working together to push him back. And then that's when we get the name drop of the first user of One For All, and his name is Yochi. Um, because the second user, the second user, he brings up the fact saying, 
Yoshi would know, right? And obviously the first user, our Yoshi, said, yep. Um, and essentially he goes on to say, to your stop your brother, we sacrifice too many lives to count. At the end of any battle, it is either victory or defeat. You think we could really get behind some bright eyed brat who wants to save his arch nemesis. And even the first year is like, yeah, you're right. It's delusional. It's crazy. I think it's not going to work. But, you know, just like a certain pair saved their nemesis um, and stuff like that. So we get a whole more in-depth backstory to the first user, which is funny enough because in the anime, we just saw Deku seeing the whole backstory of how All for One rose to power. Um, and the one, and well, Yoshi ended up in the little prison space. So essentially we find out that the second and third users of One For All used to work for All For One. And then they ended up helping and saving and getting Yoshi, the first user of One For All, out of the prison. And I'm guessing after that, they must have passed down the quirk because of that and stuff like that. Because you see in this whole scene, um, the first and se the second user was offering his hand to Yoshi to help him and stuff like that. Um, Yoshi goes on to say, and extending an extended, um, you know, you saved the nemesis and extended a helping hand back then. He goes on to say, if you didn't get me out of that room right then and there, nothing would have not started. Essentially saying, if you guys didn't help me, we would not have got to this point where we're at today. He goes, Yoshi goes on saying that isn't the reason you brought up the past, that past, you realize the fact in the first place. Second user replies saying, you really think the kid will save the day? And Yoshi explain, says, yep, one for all will never bow down to my brother. Makes sense because guess what? When Shigarachi as, was all, one, all for one as Shigaraki tried to take, take Deku's um, quirk one for all from him in the battle, it didn't happen. And I feel like that's gonna, I feel like All For One can't do that. I feel like the vestiges are gonna be that thing that is gonna be like Deku's bear to be like, you can't have this quirk whether you like it or not. Um, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, and essentially the last few, the last few panels essentially has the users side by side with Deku um, in their old visionary area saying, listen clearly kiddo, we're going full speed ahead now. And obviously Abdeku as he's eating saying yes sir, essentially further hitting the point that, listen dude, listen kid, you got yourself into this situation, there's no turning back now, we have to go, We th this is a save, you know, or be killed situation. It doesn't matter what happens going forward, so you gotta know, what happens, happens. If somebody dies, somebody dies. Um, you just gotta you know what you're getting yourself into, essentially. Um, other than that, it was a pretty solid chapter. We finally get to see the faces of the third, and or the second and the third users, finally. It took a few chapters to get to that point, because I know after the chapter when it looked like we are gonna give them the focus, well, guess what? They really didn't, because we went off, we got a time skip and everything. And now, I'm guessing you can say we cleaned up all the little backstory type of sh stuff within the last couple of days um, in terms of where the timeline in the story is at right now. The only other thing I could see them potentially going back to in the past is seeing more of the reactions of Class 1As after receiving their notes. Um, from Deku saying that he left the school to go stop Shigaraki and all for one and hopefully to keep them safe. Um, I wonder where the next chapter is going to go. I don't know if there's going to be a break next week because again, I just read the unofficial translation. So unlike on Viz, they, when they say like, oh, next Sunday will be the um, chapter of the date when the next chapter releases. Um, we'll fi I'll find out tomorrow. Um, but it's gonna be interesting. I feel like where the next chapter could be going to, cause I feel like, okay, we I think we focused a lot on where Deku is at right now. Um, I think we're more than do enough to return back and see 
What the hell is going on at UA with Class 1A and their reactions to Deku Levy? Are we going to get them in their first day of school back after the war arc where it's just kind of, eh, we ease you into stuff and stuff like that. And obviously you just have the empty seat where Deku used to sit and everybody's just like, well, uh, Midori is not here. And maybe they'll ask Aizawa, hey, Aizawa, do you know where Midori is? Um, and I always be like, I don't know where Izu, uh, Midori is, um, but that's none of your concern. Again, it's going to get to a point where Class 1A, I feel like is going to do a whole season three type of thing where when Bakugo was taken by the League of Villains, we all, we saw Kirishima, Deku, Ida, and Momo um, all go try to go after, and, and Todoroki to all go try to go after him. I feel like maybe all of Class 1A slash mostly maybe the main members of Class 1A are going to group up together and they're going to go out and try to find Deku, um, which... Again, I said it in past chapters. I can't wait to see that reaction when they find when they finally come across Deku when they see how different Deku is now. And obviously, it's going to be a big moment not only for you know the Todoroki, the Bakugos, even the Ochakos too. It's going to be a whole thing for the entire class if they're all there. Because I'm really intrigued to see that dialogue where Deku's like, "I have to do this on my own," you know. And listen, you guys go back to UA. And you learn and you study and become heroes and then yada yada yada. Well, I'll, I'll come back for some time. Um, so yeah, um, but other than that, good chapter. We got a little bit more depth of how the first, second, and third users all know each other, and it goes all the way back to the fact that it was that freaking cage scene. Which again, like I said, it's a freaking coincidence that they bring up that whole scene as a few weeks ago, we got the anime, how he was ended up getting up in there in the first place. But nice extra backstory we got on the second and third users. Um, and now we finally know what they look like, their faces look like. Um, so yeah, now we still do not have their names. They're the only one for all users. We have not heard their names. We got the first user here, his, first, his name is Yoshi. Um, but we don't know, um, where um, essentially the other ones. So first user, Yoshi. Um, obviously we got the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, and obviously ninth. So we're gonna have to uh, wait, I'm guessing a few more chapters and stuff like that in the near future of when we're gonna get the name drop of, well, the second and third users of one for all. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. So if you guys like the video, leave a like in the comment section your thoughts on this week's manga chapter review. And hit that subscribe button. And please hit that subscribe button because we're only a few subscribers away from 100 subscribers. Um, so, yeah. Um, and also, you'll be able to see my, my Hero Academia anime review content too. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys are staying safe out there. And hopefully you guys are having a great rest of your day or night. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video on the next manga chapter review. Till then guys, peace.